All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean weather. It's nice weather. It sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, <laughs> shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Let's do something fun. Okay, I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay, <laughs> so ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? You seem more like a Cali girl than me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact, right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game.
I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my yoo -hoo. Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. I love science. Seriously. I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Uncle Swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh. Are you accepting applications? Considering it. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. Well, sure. It's not for everyone. I get that. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Damn straight. But you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. How could you possibly know that? I broke my wrist when I was 10. Ah. Uh. The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess... six years ago? Seven. <laughs> well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first, embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot, that's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But... I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? 
I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, wanna listen? bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes... I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day... I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Okay. 